Oh, he's a slippery rock right here. You gotta be careful. There he is. Oh yeah, another good one. Good lord. Another, another guy. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's all about the bait you used to cut. Folks, today, just out here, fishing off a bank with a cork, a sinker, and a hook, and some manners. And we catch them, I'm telling you right now. Cole Cocos, he's right over there. If you can see him, he and I are out here today, and it's windy. We got the wind blowing in here off this river right here, Tennessee River blowing in this little, there's a little creek right here, running into the river right here. Folks, Cole Coulter's over here. He has, he got me out here in the middle of the boondocks. He said he gonna take me one of his special little honey holes, fishing honey holes. We got a spot that the water, uh, it's dewatering area. The water comes out from um, these back flows and these creeks and it goes out to the main river. And when that happens, there's a bunch of shad and bait fish that get pushed out. And usually you can fish right there on the edge of the river and you never know what you're gonna catch. You catch crappie, stripes, spotted bass, largemouth. You just never know. So we're gonna throw some shiners in there and see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna throw shiners. We stopped down there at Buster's Bait and Tackle there in Huntsville, Alabama and bought some shiners. Corks fixing go down right there. Yep, he just hit it and there she went and I got it. Uh oh oh he come off good lord what's going on with that man i'm gonna have to let him take it just a little bit longer i think what they're doing they're grabbing that minnow by the tail There he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look here. I got him, boy. Nice bass, too. Nice witness. Uh. Look at here. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice bass. A large amount of bass sitting here fishing off the bank right off the Tennessee River. That's about my first throw out there. So anyway, good deal. Now let's turn this, turn this little boat right here and catch nothing. Yeah, let's just turn it right, right there. These little golden chiners right here that we're fishing with today. Now these minnows right here, these golden chiners, they farm raised them out in Arkansas. And uh, they sell them to these, they, they wholesale them to these tackle stores. So I call them bought, bought man. And uh, oh, you see that? There he is. There he is. There he is. Ah, oh Lord, just throwed it out there. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a skip jack. Okay. Ah, look here. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, hey, that's cut bait right there. Okay, I'm just using this little number two hook. That's what I normally fish with right here. I got a few little split shots right there. It's just what I had on the other day when I was down to the river, and I'm gonna slide them up just a little bit. And then I've got this bit, pretty good sized cork here. I just got it up about four foot above his hook. I'm not sure uh, how deep it is out there. Now this is a perfect day to do this, especially with that wind blowing like it is. <laughs> Turn this around, y'all can see. It's blowing, boy. We got the uh, uh, wide cat right there on the river. Big time. I mean. Oh, you got one, Cole? Oh, man, Cole's got a good one right here. <sighs> got to watch these rocks, you'll fall. Look at here. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Pretty spot. Pretty spot. Yes, man. sir. Tell you what, Cole, that's a, that's a good one there. Yeah, you was fishing on the bottom, were Yeah, you? sure was. Look at that. Sure was, right on the bottom. Well, all right, man, good deal. We're working on them, that's for sure. Cole's fishing on the bottom. I'm fishing with a cork. Doing good. But I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with this, with this cork here. You see that silt stuff blowed in here. See how the water color's gonna change right here. Coming in there off the river. Right over there, 
there's the edge of it. So that's why I'm trying to keep it right on the edge of that, where that clear water and that uh, dingy water meet. I love to see that bobber go down, I can tell you that much. Uh-oh. Might have one sniffing. There he is, here. There he is, I got him. Nice in here. That's a big minnery here, too. Oh, boy, I'm telling you, these are pulling fish. Oh, Lord. Another little spotted bass. Pull him up there, Cole. Get him. Woo. There's another nice. Hey, they fun to catch. They ain't got to be monsters. They just fun to catch. I want y'all look at that for the beautiful fish. Got the cold up there. Look at it. He's ready, boy. He's ready to catch one now. I'm gonna turn this loose right here. Today I'm fishing with this hard reel here. Right here. A little, I guess it's 2000, size 2000. And I got this Arctic rod I'm fishing with. It's a little tournament pro. It's an Arctic. And it is a uh, seven foot medium action graphite rod. Right there. That's what I'm using today. And I've got 30 pound braid on here with a with a uh, 12 pound leader tied on. Got him? Cole's got one. Good? Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Put him up here, Cole. Look here. <laughs> Beautiful spotted bass. Look at that. Way to go, Cole. And now Cole, yeah, he fun. Yeah. Look at that. Now Cole, you fishing on the bottom, right? Yep. He just fish show show folks what you fishing with right there. Just, just I'm just up. fishing with a little old split shot here. Yeah. And then that number two hook that Rocky likes to fish with. I did have too big of a hook on and okay. I was losing them. But I can't seem to do it with the bobber today. Every time <laughs> I put it on the bottom, I get one. So I'm gonna keep doing it because it's working. <laughs> I don't bite. Oh man, I might do it myself here in a minute. Ooh, that wind's a whoop. Thinking we might catch a few crappie today, but hey, right, good with this right here. Been a while since I got a bite. Actually, a pretty good little while since I got a bite. And the one thing about this dingy water, the way I'm fishing with that under that bobber right there, see that man is up in the water column, so it's up in this dingy. And probably them fish not gonna be able to detect that 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 minnow like they was while ago before all this dingy water moved in here. So we might have changed technique. Cole, he's he's fishing on the bottom, so that might be what we have to do to get him to bite now. Okay, I'm gonna try one thing here. I'm gonna take this cork off. I'm gonna take this bobber off. And I'm gonna try on the bottom out there because they've just seemed to quit uh, all this silt's blown in here and they just quit biting. So I'm gonna take this, uh, this is a pretty good side little <laughs> bobber right here. And uh, I'm gonna try it on the bottom. Yep, let's see if we can't pick up one more fish here. Uh, there he is. All right. This is a real good one right here. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a drag boat. Uh, big one. Big one right here. Big one. This should come off. See, I took that cork off, throw it out there on the bottom. And look at here. Now, that's one we've been looking for right there. That's a butter ball right there. Nice fish. I'll tell you what, folks, we're gonna end it on that right there. Uh, it's done got too windy out here, almost for me. I don't about took all I can take. And uh, we're gonna go try and turn that loose. Folks, <laughs> we're gonna end it on that one right there. That was a nice big spotted bass right there. I took that, that bobber off, throw it out there, and it was instant. So I think it's silt's blowed in here. And so as far as the, the uh, men have been up in the water column, I don't think they can, they can detect the men in this dingy looking water. So. I think they're laying down on the bottom and cold over there looking at Granny. We had a big time out here today, so uh, anyway, that's about it, folks. We'll see you later out on the water. Yep.